So, like many of you, I wanted to try um, Kyle Royer's Waterfall Platen, but I don't have a variable speed motor. I don't know how to weld, but I came up with something that I'm gonna try on my regular speed motor. Probably won't work, but I wanna try it anyway, and I thought you might like to see it in case it takes something goes awry. It could be entertaining for you. Oh, and if it does work, I'll show you how I made it. Okay, here we go. I'm almost afraid to be close to it. Oh, look at that. So here's the knife that I'm gonna do. You can see it's got all vertical lines and stuff. Let's see if this works. That wants to slide. I think I at least got all the lines out. Okay, look at that. That actually worked. So, so all I gotta do now is um, do what Kyle does and put the little, uh, put the lines on there so I can make sure. It, right now I'm just eyeballing it, but shoot, I got all those lines out of there. Actually it worked. I can't believe it. So let me show you how I made it. Okay, so since I can't weld, all I did is I took a piece of angle iron like this. I put this hole, and see, everybody's grinders a little bit differently, different, but uh, I got mine from Wilmont Grinders, and it has this threaded hole right here that's a half inch bolt. So I made a half inch hole right there that I could bolt it on with, and I use a bunch of washers for spacers so I can get it, you know, at the right space right there. And since I can't weld, I just, uh, I, I made four um, quarter inch doohickeys. I threaded this part, and uh, when I put the bolts through there, um, I just ground them off. I just ground them flush, and they're on there pretty tight, so hopefully that'll hold. And uh, because this angle iron is too thin to make a nice radius right there, I just glued on a or didn't glue on I just bolted on this piece of angle iron and put my radius right there now I also don't have a um I don't have a mill so I had no way to get a perfect radius so I basically I put this on my disc grinder and I set it at 45 degrees and I cut it right there and then I set it like 22 and a half degrees and I cut it there flipped it over and cut it there and then for the rest of it I used a file and sandpaper to round it over but it's pretty decent I mean it's good to the eyeball you can't look at the plunge lines and tell that they're any different I can't anyway I'll let's look at them again there's the plunge lines so I guess I still got a little bit of a line in there there's the way they look I just did that by eyeball I could probably get them a little bit more perfect if I measure it. I think I will. I'll play around with it a little bit more. But anywho, how cool is that? So I used my file guide to put some little scry marks on the plunge line so I can hopefully get them 
more even. And I discovered through the process that they're actually not even right now, but soon they will be, hopefully. So let's see how that goes. And now they really are perfect. Look at that. How cool is that? Sammy happy. Oh, I guess you need to see this shot too, don't you? To believe me. Look at that perfect plunge line. Come on, focus. Perfect. Sammy likey. Thanks, Carl. I just want to say a couple of more things before I post my video. One is I could probably improve on this design by gluing another piece of uh, a piece of uh, steel right here, the same thickness. Um, and that way I've got, you know, a little bit longer of a plat and a little bit more controls. That's why I get the, the two inch whoop de doo or whatever they call it. Um, the other thing is I did have a little bit of an alignment issue. The belt didn't want to align. I had to crank the alignment or the, uh, I forget what they call it. You know what I'm talking about, the little adjuster thing, the wheel. Um, I had to adjust that to keep the belt align on it a lot. Um, I don't know how to fix that other than trial and error or something like that. And the third thing is um, be sure to use a J-weight belt. You need those thin belts and stuff. And if you watch Kyle Royer's video, um, he uses these belts that have like a scalloped seam on there. He seems to think they work. The one I used, I got off of Amazon because I was in a hurry to try this out. And Amazon delivers really quickly. So I just got some belts on Amazon and they work so far. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to work. But for now, I got one knife out of it. Um... And the fourth thing is don't do this at all because it's dangerous. If you you got a knife going this way and a belt going this way, it snags on that belt, bad things can happen. Or if the belt's, something bad could happen and I don't want to be responsible. So don't do this, even though I did it and I just showed you how to do it. Just use your own judgment. You're an adult, except for your kids. But your kids will be adults unless you have accidents, really bad accidents between I'm rambling, aren't I? I'm going to end the video now.